Today, we will learn about the changes in matter. Matter undergoes changes. Have you tried placing a glass full of ice cubes on a table? After some time, what happened to the ice cubes? You may have noticed that the ice cubes got smaller. Some of them melted or turned into liquid water. The water changed from solid, which is ice cubes, to liquid. What could have caused the change? Moving on, the change in the form of the ice cubes was due to a change in its temperature. When we say temperature, it tells how hot or cold something is. Changes in the form of matter can happen when the temperature of matter changes. Changes can also happen from different ways of handling matter. First, we have the changes in solids. Because of the change in its temperature, solids can change their form. Liquid water can change into ice cubes when it is put in a freezer. This is a machine with low temperature. The low temperature makes liquid water turns into solid water, which is ice cubes, in a process called freezing. When the ice cubes are taken out of the freezer or put in a warmer temperature, it will turn back into liquid water. This process is called melting. Heating a solid can also change its form. When heat is applied in solid matter, it will change solid to liquid. For example, when you heat some butter which is a solid, it will turn into liquid. Heating can also change a solid into another solid like burning a piece of wood which is a solid into ashes which are also solid. The size and shape of a solid can also change from the way the solid is handled. Among of the solids are being handled are cutting, tearing, breaking, and pounding. For example, when you cut a square piece of paper in half, you change the paper size. You also change the shape from one square to two rectangles. Second, we have the changes in liquids. Liquids can also change in other forms. The water in the soup turns to gas because it's very hot. When water becomes hot, it will evaporate and will move upward as a gas. This gas is called water vapor. When water vapor rises, visible water droplets can sometimes form. A liquid can also change into gases. For example, when liquid water boils, some of the water changes into a gas. This is why we see smoke light coming up from the water. The smoke is a gas that we call steam. This process is called evaporation, the change of matter from liquid to gas. And last, we have the changes in gases. Gases can also change into liquids. Have you ever seen the leaves on the plants in the early morning? If you have, you have seen droplets of water in them. What causes this? At night, temperature gets much lower than the temperature during the day. Because of this, the water that is in the air in gas form turns to liquid water. The droplets on the leaves are among the liquid water form. This process of gas changing to liquid is called condensation. These are the changes in matter. Now, let's do an activity. What happens when a battle falls on the ground or pavement? Yes, it will break into pieces. How about the
the wrapper and candle were heated. Very good. They knelt down. What happened to the plastic of water placed inside the freezer? Very good. The water inside the plastic will become ice. Remember, the change of matter from solid to liquid is called melting. Liquid to solid is called freezing. Gas to liquid is called condensation. And liquid to gas is called evaporation. That is the end of our lesson. I hope you learned